Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how PubNub's Access Manager API works with JavaScript. Access Manager enables restriction for message reading and writing on PubNub. PubNub developers can restrict the flow of messages at the key level, on a channel level, or for specific access tokens. This is practical when creating secure one-to-one -one private chat rooms in chat applications, or banning users from chat rooms or multiplayer game rooms, or in stock price broadcasting or HQ trivia apps, it ensures that only the admin can publish data to subscribers. In taxi apps, temporarily authenticated channels allow the rider to see their taxi's location for the duration of the trip, but not any longer. This JavaScript tutorial will enable you to implement Access Manager functionality into your web browser or Node.js application. First, you must enable the PubNub Access Manager feature on your PubNub API keys. By default, PAM is disabled. Visit dashboard.pubnum.com to enable the feature for your application. As your app's administrator, you need to be the one who grants and restricts usage for your clients. This can be done using the SDK's grant method. Grants are only possible if the client connects to PubNub using the secret key. The secret key is added alongside the publish and subscribe key when you initialize PubNub in JavaScript. Make sure that you only include the secret key in your secure servers instance of PubNub or in PubNub Functions serverless environment. Client devices can connect to PubNub without the secret key, but they won't be able to grant, which is recommended. Users that have the secret key can grant and also revoke access for reading and writing of PubNub messages. This can be done for the whole key set, for specific channels or channel groups, or for specific auth keys, which you can think of as a password or auth token. You can issue grants with a time to live in minutes, or you can make them permanent. The temporary grants make PubNub work well with OAuth applications. On your server, you can authorize a user's OAuth token using an Access Manager grant, once the authority like Facebook or Google makes a valid callback to your server. You have the ability to restrict reading and writing. In a stock price app, you would enable every user to read data on stock price channels, but you would allow only your secure server write access to those channels. You can do grants while PAM is disabled. Once you enable it in the admin dashboard, all of your grants will be enforced. Here we have two web pages, one for admins to grant or revoke using Access Manager, and one for clients to try and publish data. The client app is very similar to the publish subscribe tutorial video. By default, anyone can publish and subscribe on any channel for the key set. If I uncheck the admin checkboxes and click this button, Access Manager will disable everyone from publishing or subscribing. Let's take a look at the admin's grant code. Here we have our buttons and checkboxes for granting and revoking. Take a look at the PubNub connection. You'll see that we connected using the secret key. Make sure that you only do this on your own secure server or in PubNub function serverless event handlers. The global grant button has a read, write, and TTL parameter. The channel grant button accepts an array of channel names. The password grant accepts an array of auth keys. Note that if we remove the channels parameter, the passwords would work on all channels for this key set. Let's take a look at the client code. We have a button for publishing and a text box to input our read and write password. Notice that we connect to PubNub without the secret key. The button does the same publish message from the PubSub video. The auth key is set for the PubNub connection when you type one into the text box. At the moment, everyone is not able to read or write. I can enable read and write on this channel only by clicking the middle button. If I click on the write button, only users of this channel with the password can read or write. I'm going to go back to the admin code and grab the password I granted access to. Once I enter this on the client, I can now publish again. If I remove the password, back to no access. Now that you understand PubNub Access Manager, you can build secure one to one chat apps, financial data streaming applications, games like HQ Trivia, and more. The next video in this series will go over PubNub channel groups. Thanks for watching.